With addiction, that means something to do with the brain. How can the brain cannot detect something could be addictive, something could be a, a vicious addiction, and how it can change from vicious to, uh, to, uh, to constructive addiction. The very, uh, very uh, interesting is that when we study with these, uh, the four essential elements in relation with the human's biology, so if we focus with the brain, with the human brain, but, but if we focus with the brain, you realize that the brain, the human brain, actually is composed by 76 to 85 percent water. So water is a very, a very important issue. It's not only about water, it's about the energy as well. The human brain consumes 20 percent of energy, which is the highest energy than any part of the body. Uh, in uh, relation to oxygen, okay, yeah, in relation with the oxygen, it uh, receive 20% oxygen. The same thing, it's the highest than any part of the body, including the lungs. Though that we breathe for, through the lungs, but the brain receives 20% of higher oxygen, highest than any part of the body. So, hydrogen, which is very important, Others, George, he found that no electron in the living system can move without being accompanied by hydrogen. So as we go through the cell cycle, productivity of new cells to replace the dead cells, hydrogen plays a very important role to prevent oxidation of the cells. The free radicals which are responsible for the aging and all these chronic complications, chronic diseases, how could the body could not refix itself from any disease or any infection or any complication as it, it has its own mechanism to self-healing. Is because of depletion, one of the factors, the key factors, is depletion of hydrogen. But there was not, and there's not any single research so far we couldn't find denoting about where does human being preserve the hydrogen? How can, could you induce hydrogen to your body? Yes, water, by drinking water. Oxygen, we breathe oxygen, though that's 21% from the environment. The balance is the nitrogen. 78% and so on, a little part of hydrogen, very small, and so on. So we do not breathe a clean oxygen in the environment. So that's why people, when you know, they see, uh, they can get much better oxygen compared to the inland. But we do not get enough oxygen from the environment, we simply because 21%. The 100% oxygen generated to the brain, to the human body, is from the water with that temperature. Hot water, aqua. The covenant bonds of hydrogen and oxygen generate uh, the fields, the four essential elements of life, not just only water, but also oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. Uh, this is reached the brain. Of course, through the circulatory system, we know that the blood transports oxygen to the brain, as well as hydrating the brain, and so on. So, by maintaining the therapeutic methods of aqua revitalized therapy, and among, of course, there are various modalities, and among them is for internal healing, for, for drinking methods, that maintain vasodilation, dilation of the blood phase, and maintain the amount of water and oxygen and energy heat in the, in the, in the blood, because the blood transports also energy to all the organs of the body, including the brain. So, uh, the blood plasma, uh, the, uh, actually, is composed of 92% water. So if we study, if we go through the human biology, every single part of human body, from cell to atom to organs and so on, all these, they fully rely on these fuels to function properly. It's not just water, but it's about all the fields. So the water, all these substances reach the brain through the, uh, the circulatory system and transported by the, by the blood. And the blood transports energy. So when you go through the uh, laws of thermodynamics, about the first law of thermodynamics, that energy cannot be created, cannot be uh, destroyed, but it can sh it shift from one body to another. So when you go through the heart of therapy, the temperature of the water is higher than your body. That's the exclusive way to transport the energy to your body and shift to the brain by hydration.
There is no other way. Yes, physical exercise, that's good. But there, through mechan the, the, the kinetic energy, that your body produced the energy, uh, but that energy, that in, in addition, from a result of that, you go through dehydration. That's why they say, drink plenty of water when you do exercise. So, but here we do not here, drink plenty of hot water. Maintain specific methodology of aqua therapy when you do exercise. Uh, so that you replenish the energy by shifting the energy from the water to the body by hydration, exclusively by hydration. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah.